So welcome back guys. I, right now is we will now do the endpoints of our API. So we will do this uh, side by side. So after requesting to the API, I mean to Postman, we will check our documentation. So in the next part is I will show you how I did this documentation, uh, the YAML file, which is this. I'll just discuss the main parts. It's so it's just uh it's just repetition. So once you've made like a two two to three request, just copy paste. So I'll discuss this um, after the next video. So let's start. <clears throat> so right now is I'm not running the API. So I'm requesting. I mean I'm using the API which I have deployed. In my local server. So first is the model or the collection of people. Let's do the code here. First is when you select select people. So this this route here. <clears throat> so this route, the one is running. So the query here is just people find select all. The select asterisk. You compare it to a SQL query. So here is just select all the all the people in our database. So for our database, here is our database collection of people here. So right now there's there are no avis uh, to that person. So next is let's add a new person. So I didn't. <clears throat> I didn't add like a uh, checking here, so it's just basic code. So there's no checking if that uh, person already exists in the database. So let's just change the name to hey, Joe. Like insert. So this is the return that I have just uh, read. But you can change this in the API. So this is part part here. So the result here is the value of the data inserted. So just return the result that ID, the ID of the new person. So let's select again. Like that. So for our documentation, so I forgot our documentation guys. So here in our select, I mean get route of the people. So this one, give all people. Right now, the, uh, there's no parameters, then the response is it will return a JSON type. For example, the status is 200, is this one 200, and then this uh, object is this one. So, if we assign the hobby to that person, it will be look like it will look like this. So, let's check that. Uh, let's go back to that later. So, that's for the get. So, for the post, is this one. No parameters then the body the object required so like uh, the asterisk here is required so these are required fields so example when we like that uh, like a, a white space only so it will return an error please enter first name so like that you can specify your field here to be required or not so here's the sample data then will uh, require a uh, application JSON and it will return a string so insert it successfully or missing required fields with the corresponding uh, status code so next uh, endpoint is updating of person so let's say example let's update this guy here my name let's pass the parameter ID here then let's say let's change the name to Joey that's so I just returned the status of the over no content so it means it is successful so let's check again let's check. request the get here change the name to Joey <clears throat> so for the uh, yeah, documentation this one it has a parameter of I mean parameter of id 
So it is the ID of the person to be updated, which is this one. Then same with the object during the post request. So this is the object, I mean the JSON to be passed in the body. So required fields, just the same, then return a string, updated successfully, required missing fields. <clears throat> so sample guys, if you want it to be an error like no ID, this will delete a character in the ID. So this one will return an error. So that's the one on here, the reject part in the one guys turn the status of 400 and then send the error like that guys the next is the delete just copy the id and delete just the same it will return a status of 204 so 204 no content so when we request this guys this ma this data must be deleted so let's try that is deleted already so in our documentation, the delete here. So same ID. The I mean the required. Uh, call this as uh, uh, URL parameter. Request params is the ID. Then return a string of. I I it's not updated guys, so I change it to two o four. So that not updated. So that's it for our basic code in the people model. <clears throat> the next is the hobby. So almost the same. So select hobby. Oh, there's no hobby yet. So let's add new hobby. The hobby of sleeping. Same, re same return with the ID. Select. And let's add another one. Yes. Uh, inserted successfully then select here's the new hobby then updates just the same so let's update the sleeping to whole day so to 04 still to 04 into whole day then let's just add a dummy data let's delete that delete this Go to 04 and when you select again, deleted. So in our documentation, so it's just basic code. So post here is the required body, like that, required fields, and then the get no parameters, then it will return this one with the ID. Then patch here, name, then ID required, then delete. Is ID required? Then status to be returned like that. So next is this one. We will put a hobby. We will update the certain person's hobby. So let's select a person. This one. We have only one person. So let's the ID of the person here. And we will get the hobbies to be attached. So these two, we will add it to. So you, it's, there's no checking, guys. You can do your your own checking here. Like if this hobby doesn't exist, like that, like that. So 204, no content. So when we select that person, there, there's the two hobbies here. Like, this is what I said here, this one. The ID of hobbies. And we check our database. So let's refresh because there's no hobby collection. There's the hobbies. So like this, there's two hobbies in that person. Then the next. Uh, this one this is the patch so the id of the person then the but i mean the object 
JSON to be uh, patch the format. So next is we will select for example the person's ID and let's pass it here. So here's the complete data. So here's the uh, data for that person. Then here is his corresponding hobbies. So sleeping all day and eating. So in our documentation, it's this one. So the ID of the person. And then here is the sample return data. So the ID of the, I mean the data of the person, then the hobby. So that's it for our endpoints and documentation, guys. And the next part is I will uh, discuss the YAML file of this uh, documentation here, which is this one. So see you guys there.